Man, I'm mad as fuck, man. Fuck me, Mill. Real talk, man. Fuck that nigga. Hey, go ahead, click, like, subscribe, man, because I'm about to be going in on bruh bitch ass for a minute. You know what it is, Cash Carter coming in with you with the street nigga news. Boom! You know what it is. And oh, yeah, I've been doing real good. You know what I'm saying? Boosie and Mo 3 got me eating good and want to cop the new rollers and that. Can't hear shit. So go ahead, like, click, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do another, I ain't going to, I'm going to be 100 with you. I ain't going to do no, another $100 giveaway, but I'm doing five $20 giveaways just so people know that this is real, just so people know there ain't nothing fake, real street shit, real nigga shit, my word is my bond, boom, I'm really giving out $20 to anybody who subscribe, like, and comment, no games. Now, let me get right into Meek Mill. Meek Mill was riding through his old hood today. He seen some young boys out there, uh... You know, selling waters. You know what I mean? So, for some reason, that's been going around all around the country out here. Because where I'm, I done been, I done been everywhere. Houston, Texas, Ohio, Kentucky, California right now. I done been everywhere. Washington, D.C. It seemed like everybody is selling waters. All these young boys selling waters. They posted up at the gas station on, 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 on dangerous corners and highways. Almost about to get hit just to go ahead and get that little bread. And Meek Mill had the nerve and the audacity to say, What you, what, what, what y'all raising money for? Meek! Well, you was never in the streets. Stop playing, Meek Mill. You was 15-year-old rapping, bro. You probably had little OGs throwing you that or that. Doing a little hype shit for clothing. Just having to get a little money in the process, bro. Come on, Meek Man. You ain't never putting that. Come on, bro. Meek, stop playing, bro. I, I, sense, I sense a nigga from the hood, but not a hood nigga. Not really from the struggle, man. I, I don't know what you talking about. Besides some dusty braids you had when you was 15, nigga. What well, nigga said, what you rapping for? When you was 15, bro, you a lame meat, bro. Real talk, bro. Somebody need to really check your bitch ass for that. Gonna get him $20. You might as well not get him nothing. You could at least start and get some advice instead of questioning him because you ain't want to give him no more money. You could at least say like, hey, I'm a celebrity, bro. I ain't got no more cash on me. You a trick with these bitches and shit. You came to Cincinnati inside Scholar Blake shitty ass. Only got one good chorus, not even song. But you're going to be on that old fuck ass shit. Come on, Meek Mill. You a puss ass nigga for that, bro. But let me go ahead and answer that question for you, Meek. What are they raising money for? So that they don't be going to nobody house. So that they don't be doing no stupid stuff trying to get a little money and end up dead or in jail. What are they raising money for? Because they black. And as you can see, they not as, as clean or have as much popping at the age of 15 like you did me. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bruh. So they don't have as many doors and opportunities. And I, I'm going to tell you this, nigga. I had to go get a job at amusement park, nigga, because a local store, grocery store, Kroger's and all that shit would not hire me for some odd reason. A nigga who can speak clearly and had a resume. They still want to hire me so I know what it's like. And even if they not trying, opportunity is low. So they stuck in a situation where they feel they hopeless and they don't have nothing else to do. There's nowhere else to go. And they here, they thinking, well, at least I can't go to jail or get in trouble for this. You know what I mean? They not thinking they finessing, scheming or none of that. They selling a product on top of that. Because a lot of these other young boys is front of the gas station and they begging. So you a lame for that meat? What you forgot to struggle? What you forgot the lack of opportunity? Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, I got out of jail. Let's go free some people. But you don't want to, you don't want to at least get some knowledge and advice to a, some little niggas who's going to be those people in jail who you want to free. Come on, bro. All that get niggas out of jail free car was an excuse to make the judge look bad and make yourself look like a good person so you can get off of probation and get from off that jail and all that other little stuff, bro. You a lame nigga. You ain't nothing. You ain't no role model, nothing. Your raps is garbage, bro. You got one song, bro. The song they sung to you when you was in jail and they sung that bitch to you outside. Meek Mill, you trash for real, bro. You made it because at the time in a rap game when you came in, nobody was dropping heat. Nobody was dropping on street stuff and you said you was raised by the stop sign, no religion, you was getting saved by the Glock 9, that's the only reason why people fuck with you at all, bruh, that's the only reason, bruh, make you garbage, you trash, you stuck on Nicki Minaj, and she obviously has some type of mental issue that she would have even if she wasn't famous or not, 
know what I'm saying? As far as like being in her own bubble, in her own realm, in her own world. A lot of people are like that, and that's a mental issue, to be honest. But at the same time, we all got problems, so some people might not see it as a mental issue. But you own her dick, and, brand, you know something a little off with Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, me, bro. Let me really get into you, me. You trash, bro. For the end, I'll be listening to your lyrics, bro, word by word, because people promote you so high. I want to see what they talking about, but you not a J. Cole. You're not a, a, a Kendrick Lamar. You're not a Drake. You're not a Cassidy. You're not a Beanie Single. You're not a Jada Kid. You're not a Jay-Z. You're not nobody that be rapping hard. You're not even a, a Rick Ross. You're not a Rick Ross. You're not a 2 Chain. Meek Mill, what you is, you is an over height. Man, I don't even know who. I don't even know who to compare you to because ain't nobody... Been so overhyped a day in my life. Like the baby is a better lyricist. The baby is a better person who raps about real life stuff and stuff that he been through. And I feel more than you, Meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? The thing I heard was we done went to war with the realists. You know what I mean? Because I can understand that being a street nigga and having to go to war with niggas that I know I'm going to lose to. Niggas that I know got more niggas than me. Niggas that I know are a real deal official. That's the only thing I can feel that came from you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you got all that cough off a little snoop. Like, that shit kind of a little weird to me, bro. So, Meek Mill, bro, I'm be over 100, bro. I don't know you like that, but you know what I mean? Like, only thing I was wrong about you, I thought you was a short midget or something. I see you seen you shopping with Shaq Lee. I thought you short, but look like you a little tall. Like that, bro, you a bitch ass nigga, bro. You a bitch ass nigga, bro. You got beat by Drake, nigga. Sauce Walker beat Drake to the point where he even want to do nothing else with one song. You got beat by Drake, bro. <laughs> Not song for song, but like for his rap diss, and you were supposed to win the diss, and Drake was supposed to beat you with putting out hits. You know what I'm saying? You trash, Meek Mill, bruh. You don't even be rhyming. You don't even be on beat, bruh. You ain't had no real hit on the radio since you got on that song with Bow Da Boot Up, girl. You know what I mean? Stop playing, Meek, bruh. You trash, bruh. So if anybody should should be giving back to the streets, it should be a nigga who only made it because of the streets, bruh. You was a battle rapper, bruh. That shit been dead with Cassidy, bruh. Stop playing, bro. Then you trash on top of that. And I seen a better rap you did when you was 15, bro. You was trash, bro. Them niggas was hyping you because they was all your niggas, bro. What's that? What's the plan? Go to a battle rap and bring more people than the next nigga. Come on, Meek Brown did a 7-minute, 45-second video on you, bro. You trash, bro. You should never do them little niggas like that, nigga. I've been waiting to get on your ass, nigga. Yeah, hey, come on, bro. You're a talk, man. I ain't never seen no, no nigga his name is Meek Mill, bruh. Still on Nicki Minaj dick, though. Like, she dating a, a, a average Joe, and you still mad. Like, come on, bruh. You don't want nobody getting your shit, so stop asking them niggas what they raising money for. They raising money to get something to eat, something to smoke, and get through their day, bruh. What you mad because they buying some weed with it? What you mad because they buying some McDonald's with it? What you mad because they paying for bus fare with it? That's how they get through the day. Come on, bruh. Tell you not to do your cocaine or whatever the fuck drug you do, nigga. Come on, bro. To get through your day. Or, 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 or whatever little fancy luxury shit you you got scheduled in your motherfucking uh, uh, pocket planner, nigga. Come on, bro. We real street, nigga. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We real street. This shit always, always next to us, nigga. Always with us, nigga. Come on, bro. We ain't even putting motherfucking, we putting hard in the glass, nigga. We ain't putting no dope in the glass, man. Stop playing, so I don't want you to play with me, bro. The meat man, you purping, bro. You purping, bro. You, I, I feel like you a clout, nigga, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, I say this every video, man. You got niggas, you got niggas who be from the hood, but live life good. So they never built the struggle. You got niggas from the hood. And live the struggle, the real struggle. I'm talking about the niggas who had the holes in their shoes, bro. I'm talking about the niggas who, who was rocking the same clothes before they had dope boy money. I'm talking about the niggas who, who had to turn the heat on. I'm talking about the niggas who had so many siblings. They even though their parents was doing their own thug fizzle, it still was never enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the weird shit you be on, bro. I think you just, I, I don't know what you did, but I think you just coast through that shit. But I ain't gonna make that shit 10 minutes long. But you wrong for what you did to them little kids, nigga. You a lame, nigga. Meek Mill, nigga. Hop in the DM and come see me, nigga. Because I still everything I said, nigga. You trash and you overhyped.